Welcome back Royals. In our previous video, we created this absolutely extraordinary oh so sweet sugar and spice tablescape. All week long I've been sharing with you pieces of this design as I brought it to life starting with the sugar and spice trees themselves. Then we did a DIY centerpiece which is absolutely yummy and telling of the sugar and spice theme for this 2024 season. Now guys, we're going to continue on with the styling of this space and that we'll be styling up the kitchen area to coordinate with this amazing design. I wanted to bring you guys up to speed to share with you where we are so far. Now when we left off, there was a couple of blank spaces in the room, i.e. the areas flanking the laundry area door. So I wanted to spice them up a bit and keep it in with the theme guys. I continued my flow of color and design by simply using gift wrap paper to cover my existing canvases with coordinating pieces that fit the theme of the space. So I took a pinstripe gift wrap paper along with this super cute confetti design gift wrap paper, wrapped the canvases, they are 24 by 24, added some darling little bows, and there you have it, the perfect accents to this sugar and spice design. So we're gonna flank either side of that entryway and continue on with the styling but it's little things like this that gives your space those finished details that make the area look so completely professionally designed so now we're going to move over to the other side and get those in place as well it is all about telling a cohesive design story and in this case the design of choice is sugar and spice so everything has to have that yummy sweet essence to it and these gift wrap papers or canvases are absolutely perfect for this theme this one has to be my favorite i absolutely love the play on pattern and colors but again everything flows seamlessly together the attention to detail is really what makes a luxurious well-designed space Regardless of your theme, regardless of the essence, whether it's youthful and whimsical like this design or if it's elegant and upscale for a more adult friendly look. Keep the theme and colors cohesive and you will definitely knock the ball out of the park with your design choice. So now that we have those in place, how cute and yummy is that? Let's move over now to what I like to call zone one of my kitchen area. I break my designs up into zones and we're going to carefully curate each space so above the cabinets guys I created this layered effect with a six foot king of Christmas pre-lit garland and on top I layered this yummy cupcake garland or ornament garland on top and that gave me that nice whimsical look and feel that I wanted for this space so to beef up either end guys I added those adorable Mr. and Mrs. gingerbread pieces and then we're going to finish off the look with just some additional floral stems to give a little bit more detail to the overall look of that area. The ornament garland as well as the gingerbread pieces are from house to home and the gingerbread picks I'm installing now are from Southern Home Decor. The super cute pink poinsettias are from Hobby Lobby. Baby, this Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be 
The top area of zone one is complete now let's move down to the stove area my theme or vision for this area is to create sweet little gingerbread villages in each nook here i'm going to continue with my foundation of the marble trays to build the foundation of each vignette but i'm removing the gold to bring in this sweet yummy design so here i have this beautiful pastel gingerbread house i picked up from the at home store last season and they did return them so they're absolutely gorgeous along with this beautiful stackable gift boxes guys this is all part of the mrs claus bakery collection at the at home store and i absolutely love it so a lot of the pieces will be from that collection both of the trays are from home goods and we're going to continue on now to create my sweet little yummy gingerbread vignettes i absolutely love the way it's looking and feeling so far and we're going to continue on with the theme with these bottle brush trees i picked up from hobby lobby i have several of them and i have them just sporadically placed throughout the design which you'll see soon but we're going to get that positioned just so the idea here is to create balance on either side of the stove with variated heights but the color scheme and theme, of course, will be cohesive. Focusing now on the opposite side. Guys, I had a couple of casualties with my favorite reindeer. These aqua reindeers I picked up from Walmart last year, but... Upon opening up the boxes, 
the antlers did not make the cut so we're going to style them up for now but i'll be on the hunt for something different but i absolutely love the way they flow and how cute is this adorable pastel nutcracker holding of all things a gingerbread how perfect was it for one of the vignettes i absolutely love how that flows and as you see i've created balance and symmetry with each vignette yet they're both different in the pieces that were styled I'm going to finish off this little nook with another one of those cute poinsettias from Hobby Lobby. And now this darling little spoon rest I picked up from Amazon. It's perfect for that space because we do have to have functionality. But guys, this is one of the first pieces I've ever purchased when starting this sugar and spice collection. It says Fala La 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 and it is also from Hobby Lobby. I've had it a number of years, but it just continues to flow season after season and it makes its way into the design. And I am so here for the cheerfulness that it brings over to this area. For the stove, we're gonna add this Baking Spirits Bright sign from Mrs. Claus Bakery, guys. I tell you, that collection had me in a chokehold and I am so loving it. They repeated that collection this year and added some more pieces that you'll see added in the very near future. This tile set is also a part of that same collection. I absolutely love styling up my stove with cute little tiles that signify the theme of the season. And so this is perfect in that it also says Baking Spirits Bright. And I have it layered underneath the confetti pink towel. Now in front of the stove, I'm going to place these cute little gingerbread rug I picked up also from the at-home store. Guys, you're going to hear that name repeated throughout this design because, again, it was the number one selection place for me for this design theme. Now we're going to focus our attention over to the refrigerator. I love the way it looks so far, but just, I need just a little something something on top of the refrigerator just to finish off the look for me. And how absolutely adorable is this candy theme centerpiece I created, guys. I so loved it. And I thought it would be perfect in this cupcake container. I've had it for a number of years. Again, another item I purchased when I started this collection. And on top, we're going to add another cute little plaque from the at-home store. And that just rounds off zone one. Moving on now to zone two, guys. And it's over by my beverage station. We're going to start off with this cute hot cocoa bar sign from the Mrs. Claus Bakery guys at home fine I absolutely love it perfect in the color scheme and that ushers in the theme and so now we're going to focus our attention on the tiered tray with these adorable pink mugs layering to that guys how perfect are these cups it says Chocolate makes everything better, and I couldn't agree more. And it has the cute little candies. I've had those for a number of years from Dollar General, and I thought they'll be super cute to pull out for this season. So we're going to layer that up. And to adorn the top and the bottom layer, we're going to add this cute little confetti cup, as well as this tiered cake ornament that I'm using as just a little decorative piece for my beverage bar. Again, be innovative and think outside the box. So now that concludes my tiered tray. Just getting everything adjusted just so. Now guys, I want to finish off the look with this adorable confetti cup. I'm going to add it to the Keurig machine. And one last piece for that little nook is this adorable macaroon tree I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And the pastel macaroons were just perfect for the sugar and spice theme. Now I'm going to switch out the cake, add that to the top of the Keurig, and put this cute little sign on top. Just those little details that make a difference in your design. So that vignette is complete. Now we're going to focus over to the right hand. Another one of these adorable pastel gingerbread houses from the at-home store. We're going to place it on this Lazy Susan marble tray. It is pre-lit and I love them. We're going to add another bottle brush tree to kind of mimic the look that was in zone one. Again, it's all about a cohesive flow of design. To that, we're gonna add another poinsettia. And guys, how adorable is this gift bag? I picked them up last year. I had them adorned in a frame 
that was placed on the wall but this year i wanted them placed as part of the vignette so i plan on picking up frames for them but for now we're just going to adhere them to the backsplash to create a 3d gingerbread village if you would How cute is that? So now we're going to add the matching bag. Again, it's all about creating a 3D effect. I think the detail of these bags are too adorable to throw away. So we're going to use them season after season in some way in this design. How adorable are they? position just as part of the backsplash. I absolutely love them and so I needed the perfect accent to go with. And how gorgeous is this bouquet of candy guys. So so cute, so fun and fitting for this design. It allows me to keep functionality but also tell a cohesive story in my design theme. And so we're going to add a few more pieces just to bring out that 3D effect of this gingerbread village. In comes these two adorable gingerbread houses, also from the at-home store. Guys, I absolutely love them, and I just needed to find another way to style with them. Since I placed the garland on top, it would obstruct from the view of those. So I thought, let's create the villages down on the countertops. And how cute is this, guys? Every nook and cranny has an adorable gingerbread village in place. All of them telling the same color story, giving the same theme, and it is absolutely adorable and so fitting for this theme. Moving on now to the final zone, guys. Zone three is my sink and bar area. We're going to flank the sink with these adorable ice cream cone trees that has a confetti on the bottom. I absolutely love them. I picked them up from Hobby Lobby. And next to them, we're going to bring in more of those adorable gingerbread houses from the at home store. And as you see, they flow with the gingerbread village theme so perfectly. I absolutely love them, guys. And you may or may not see another piece or two added to this area. But for right now, I am loving what it is giving. So now we're going to style up one of my favorite elements in the kitchen and that is this three-tiered tray. I love adding little design elements here and during events that we're styling or hosting, I use this to house like my desserts and it's a showstopper and a conversation piece every single time. But to this guys, we're going to bring in something that is personal. I love bringing in personal customized items whenever I'm styling any space and these DIY initial mugs were made by yours truly and they have that pastel confetti hue to the H's and I think they're perfect and they flow beautifully with the design. Moving up now to the second tray guys I saw these adorable little marshmallow mugs and teacup at Ross and I knew that I had to have to have them and they'd be perfect for my collection. To that, we're going to add this adorable joy sign from the at-home store. Getting those mugs positioned just so. And in the back, I picked up another one of those yummy two-tiered cake ornaments. We're going to place that in the back just for visual interest. And now we're going to finish off the top tier, guys, with my favorite new pieces to my collection. That is the Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread figurines. I picked them up from the at-home store. I call them Mr. and Mrs. H. We're going to set that on the top. Then we're going to add this super fun advent calendar. And guys, can you believe we are 70 days away from Christmas? Oh my God. I, for one, couldn't be more thrilled. And guys, that completes Zone 3. And without any further ado, I proudly present to you Sugar and Spice. Every time the snow is falling 
place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday.
Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm-mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day with you. And now, if this is your first time visiting and you see what you like and like what you see, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button and join the royal family. As you can see, we are full of inspiration, motivation, and so much creativity. And I would love to have you come along and be a part of this royal journey with me. To my tried and choosing my brand new booze, you already know that I so love and appreciate you. Thank you guys for every comment, every like, and every share. Guys, hit those notification bells, click them twice so that you always know when I upload new content because Deck the Halls 2024 is just getting started and you don't want to miss a single upload. So until the next video, I want you all to stay safe, remain royal, and until you click on again, have yourselves a blessed and most beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.